That's Caleb, buddy. He goes here. I, I got that. Why is it in your wallet? Because that's my friend, Caleb. Why do you have his ID? Because he left it at the gym. And I picked it up. And I was supposed to give it to him. Okay, why do you have somebody else's credit card? That, I don't know. So, a Seattle police arrests high school student after staff finds a loaded gun in his backpack. Yeah. In elementary school, random kid brings a bag of bullets to school and gives them out to kids. He found, he had him, he got it from like his dad or some shit. Long story short, go home, show my mom a bullet. She's like, where'd you get that? It's like a kid gave it to me. He got suspended. That's it. He only got suspended? He got suspended for like four days or something. He's just handing out ammunition. I had a I had a I had a bullet. I got a bullet from school. Like it was a show and tell or yeah. Show and tell. <laughs> Dude, well, how the fuck was that shit? How did I kid get that shit? So fun. Hey, dad just had him. Had it over yeah, like he, that. He, he was thinking pretty nice with it. I think he's like, hey, this is a cool Order thing. Maybe it's kind of Yeah. Uh, kids are like, oh, it's yeah, it's cool, but... Still just regular. It's on another level. Yeah, yeah there is. I'm done with it. Definitely can't be fucking good. Right. <laughs> this is a high school chat. Yep. Soprano. Two hey. schools. When I showed my mom the bullet, I actually tried lying so that she didn't get in trouble and saying I found it by a tree in New York one. Zone yeah. yeah. in the chamber, fully loaded, safety off, like, bro. Like, and you have weed. Why are you just ready to, like, shoot someone like that? Oh, oh my God. Hey, His three fingers. Who are you talking to? Who said Peggy McAvoy? Damn. They called you. Yeah, they called oh, us. She didn't want to bother you if you were busy, but she said just told me to say that. Damn. Yeah, I'll have to think through that. Okay. I mean, I think sometimes Everything it just makes more right. stress. Right. 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 Oh, what I would yeah. do with that? What am I? Yeah. So he doesn't. He's. A, you guys haven't talked to him at all yet. He knows we have this, and he's sitting in a room there. Okay. Probably so we haven't one. talked to him since no. then. These no. two okay. grab this one. All right. Well, and I have not this. checked the rest of the bag, so I think he's important. Um, he's important. Um, Unless this gives you guys oh, yeah. cost. Oh yeah. Keeps. It keeps your whole body up. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, we would like to know if there's also drugs, right? We need to see the extent of school based. Yeah. Discipline. I just want to make sure we're But we, with a weapon in it, we want to make sure we're doing a safe trip. Let's in a car before we. Yeah, let's do that. So that way we can go talk to him and not have to worry about that. Yeah. That's why we brought it over here, just so we weren't in the same vicinity. So he doesn't have much history with us. No. I mean, is he... He's, he's an adult now. He's, he's, right. Uh, I just, he's got a considerable school history. Okay, that's uh, what I'm yeah, curious. Yeah, mostly marijuana incidents. Any gang stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, 
that tomorrow. No, I don't know if it's being cooked up. There's a lot of home yeah. stuff going on right now that he um, isn't like staying at home and mom's having a difficult time with him, but that's about it. Yeah. He's going to say that. Well, sounds like he was, with her, was like, uh, there might be something yeah. in there. Yeah, so she so said that to me, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, mostly to O'Connell. Oh, okay. Oh, he was right. But he's the master of evasive. Well, he gets mom he on a different show. Yeah. Okay. No, no, Grandma is trying to come and see him and talk to him, and that's fine before he goes and, and that sort of thing. Imagine you're going to take him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. So, Drew, can you let Fom know Grandma's coming? And sure. Now, for you guys, is he, uh, did, I would assume this is an automatic expulsion and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go get rid of that real quick, and then uh, we'll talk to you. Yeah. 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 Ugh. Automatic expulsion. All right, let's go tuck that. We're just gonna hook him. You good with that? Well, yeah, he clearly is. All the information is seen from that. Right. Yeah, so we'll talk to him and then figure that out. What's that? Sour model nine three eight and serial number five two boy two two seven three seven eight. What the fuck is this <laughs> chat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> to to that yeah. shit always keeps me. Here. Why is he trying to rot from chat? <laughs> Yeah, it's day 17, bro. Please stop this. Please stop this, bro. Yeah, I'm kidding. I feel like getting into something else in here that. Got some heavy body spray going on. Mm hmm. For later, I guess. Who just has a burrito like that? So much shit in Yeah, here. this. Maybe. This dude just never took anything out of his bag. He's gonna oh. sell the burrito.
Yeah, that's that would change it. Yeah. Yeah. How did he just not take this out of his bag? Or why did he even have it in the first place? We just have to verify it. Like, Silly, I got no update. There's nothing else in there, so we figure the tattoo artists have not responded to me. Let me actually hit them up again. Yeah. yeah so, he's going to jail. Uh, so, we'll go talk to him and find out his side of the story. I know you have to do what you need to do, but we're trying to minimize the visibility of... Well, we're just going to walk him around. We're just going to walk him in a passing period. Gotcha. Got anything on there that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? No, sir. Okay. Alright, go ahead and have a seat for me. Alright, man, just let you know we're already recording, okay? So, what's going on today? So, they call me down here. Actually, hold on, look, we're gonna read you something real quick, okay? Hey, you're Miranda Rice, just. You know why we're here, so I'm going to read these before we get going further, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have your lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You understand each of these rights that I, ex I have explained them to you. Okay. And you're 18, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what's going on today? Why are we here? So, I got called down for four and froze that I got in the last week. Uh, they said I smelled like weed, and then they went to go get my backpack. They asked me, did I have weed in my backpack? I said, oops, I might have weed in my backpack, saying basically, yeah, I have weed. Mm. And then they came down and they searched me, Then there was a gun in my backpack, and I did not know nothing about it. And I was lost and confused about everything. And then they called you guys down here. Okay. He didn't know there was a gun in your backpack. No, sir. Is it your backpack? <clears throat> yes, sir. How would a gun get in there? I was at my cousin's. I spent the night there. He went out, came back. I, when I woke up to school, grabbed it, left, came here. What's your cousin's name? Ronald. <laughs> Bro, he's snitching. <laughs> nah, he What's acting mad federal. <laughs> <laughs> He's snitching on family. <laughs> Can I spell it? M O L L E R. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> M O L L E R E. Yes. You know his middle name? No. How old is he? Twenty-five. He's twenty-five. Where does he live? He lives in Des Moines. In Des Moines. You spent the night there last night? Yes, sir. Who else was with you? Just me and him. Just you and him. Yeah. Okay. So, they're saying that you said there might be a gun in my backpack. No, I said there might be weed in my backpack. I was referring to the weed the whole time. I did not know there was weed in my backpack. Okay. Did you get ready for the day today with your backpack? No, I just grabbed it and left. What about your lunch that was in there? My lunch is always been in there since last night. It's in my main backpack. Hmm. Then check the other pockets. You didn't check the other pockets? Okay. Who is Mohammed Abdi? Uh, no. And who is Caleb Wartz? That's Caleb's ID. He goes here. I, I got that. Why is it in your wallet? Because that's my friend Caleb. Why do you have his ID? Because he left it at the gym. And I picked it up. And I'm supposed to give it to him. Okay. Why do you have somebody else's credit card? I don't know. That I had a new wallet. Picked it up from my house. It's always been in there. Never used it. You realize it's a, it's a crime just to possess somebody else's 
Credit card? No, 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 no. This isn't a new wall, man. This is a, this wall's pretty beat up and old. From my cousins, it was at his house. Picked it up. It's a wallet. Didn't didn't check it. Put my stuff in it. Got to go. Check your wallet before you put stuff in it. No, Come on, it was man. A long time ago. Come on. Just like we don't check the backpack. No, I didn't check it this morning. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me. Face wall. Okay, you're under arrest. Okay. Firearm is stolen, so you're in possession of a stolen firearm. What the fuck? What? That is what you are under arrest for right now. It's a felony. Good? You understand? Those aren't too tight, are they alright? Okay. Need your keys? <clears throat> yeah, and he's 18. He's in your charge with an adult. Can you put my paper in my pocket? I got that. Well, that, I can't Thanks. put anything back in your pocket. Uh, well, well, it'll go with us. Uh, so it sounds like your grandma is here? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you cool if, if uh, eventually your backpack goes with her? Yes, sir. Okay, then you don't got to worry about it at jail. Okay. Is this everything from in here that I need to take? Yes, sir. Oh, my phone's in my pocket. Get that out. Okay. So we, 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 we close the door so that the kids won't see him when he goes All right, out. cool. So we, we secure the door. Check the car and we'll come back in and get some information from you guys. Uh, you know. Meet Grandma. Okay. I'll come back, Jeff. Okay, if grandma asks what's going on, if you tell her what's going on, or do you want that yes. kept between us? Okay. What the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> Why is he walking like that? That's really you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just come to the front of my car again. We're gonna de search them all the way. Okay. NPC. <laughs> he spawned it. He just spawned. Is that... <laughs> Bro. And no, we actually gotta make a federal. Yeah, nah, that, that has to be a thing. Jeff or. Dude, I don't know. The Jeff would go kind of crazy. But I don't... Just you pointing with a federal... Yeah, man. that might just be it. Jeff. If someone can make a, just a picture of Savoli from that clip pointing, and then you put like a police hat on him, that's immediately going up. <laughs> that's immediately going up. Bro, st chat, stop, bro. It's Jeff. How do you say it? It's a gif, bro. School board member calls police chief a skinhead? What the f What the fuck? Hi ma'am. Can I just let her out to walk to school? I'm I My name's Stephanie Lawson Muhammad. I'm on the school board. I'm a community member of this town. I'm sorry if I was speeding. Yes, you were speeding. That's why I'm stopping I didn't you. I realize that I was speeding. You're doing 37 and a 25. I'm very sorry. Okay, do you have your driver's registration or insurance, ma'am? I have it all, but okay. I can, can she get out and walk? Sure, that's, that's, that's no problem. Now I'm so sorry. Oh, my mm -hmm. God, bro. Just take your L, bro. Why are you trying to cry out of a ticket? Like, it's just going to be worse. It's just a speeding ticket, like... Bro, he's barely over the speeding limit. Just take your L. <laughs> And then my other daughter has to get to school and she's going to be late. Okay, ma'am, I'll just try to get you out of here as quickly as I can, okay? And I'm scared of cops because you guys hurt black people. Please, just get out of the car and go away. And let me get this in. Ma'am, do you want me to call you an ambulance? No, I don't want you to call me an ambulance. Okay. That's an insult. Okay, I'm just I'm just wondering. You look like you might be having a panic attack or some anxiety. Call me an okay, no problem. I want you to call Do you me. have your driver's license, your registration, your insurance, ma'am? That was a insult. Okay. Just go. Dad is, Dad is on a plane. 
Don't call Dad. I'm sorry you have to walk. Can you call Justice and tell her that she's going to be late to park? Can you call the middle school and let them know that my daughter no, is late for park? I love you. I'm not seeing my driver's license. Chat, relax, dude, relax. What is dude. going on? What? What? I don't. I'm just. Ign I ignore chat whenever the what. Just. I saw. I'm just seeing some crazy shit. Yeah, this, this is weird. I have a driver's license. Can you look at my driver's license? Because I'm not seeing. So you you're telling me that you don't have your driver's license? I'm telling you that I don't. Okay. See do you have your insurance card, ma'am? Are you Maplewood cop? No, ma'am. South Orange. South Orange, great. I'm yes, ma'am. Call Sheena right now. Too. Okay. Man, this is expired. Do you have the new one? Oh, this is New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Remember commuting over here? Seen all. Crazy. I don't see the new one. Okay. I'm, I'm freaked out right now. Okay, just a tie for me, okay? So she just stopped crying in under like 20 seconds. <laughs> Okay, this is like five minutes later. And I just call her, she's on the other line. Maybe I'm you could put to my husband. Okay, you could just put that back in the car, ma'am. <laughs> I saw when you were hanging out the window. You didn't need to keep your arm well, out the window. I wanted time. you to know that I had my okay. driver's license. Okay. Are you are you sure you're okay to drive, ma'am? I'm okay to drive. My child is at home and she has park today. And okay. I need to get her to school. Okay, well. I will get this done as quick as possible, okay, ma'am? Here's your driver's license and the uh, ex expired registration card. Oh, excuse me, the, registra uh, the registration and the insurance card, okay? Ma'am, I wrote you a summons for the speed. I also issued one for failing to have a uh, valid insurance card in your possession, okay? What you're going to do with that summons is a mandatory court appearance because what they're going to need to do is make sure that you had insurance on the date and time that you were stopped. Okay, the only thing they're going to do is just what? check. Don't have my head. I can send you your insurance card. He will send the insurance The card. ticket's already written, ma'am. So no, what you can do that is... That doesn't make any sense. If okay. my husband is telling you right now, because for me to have to go to court, for me to have to go to court, now you want me to go to court? I don't want to go to court. I have insurance. He can text you a picture of it right now. Okay, ma'am, the ticket's already written. I can't void a summons once it's already written. I'll call Sheena. That's and fine. Your, you're more than welcome your, to do that, ma'am. skinhead cop. What the fuck? Like you're just casually dropping. Yeah, that. just. Nah, bro. What? I wanna go to court. I have insurance. He can text you a picture of it right now. Okay, ma'am, the ticket's already written. I can't void a summons once it's already written. I'll call Sheena. That's and fine. You're more than welcome to do that, ma'am. Skinhead cop. Jeez. Two. Okay. Ma'am, if you if you have any other questions, reference the court date. Maybe you can't make it. Just call the center of top speech or court, court administrator. They'll work with you as far as scheduling another date for you. Okay, ma'am? Do you have any questions for me? I don't have any questions for you. All right, ma'am. Drop safe. You too. Bro, like, I remember I got pulled over for speeding, and I, I can't find my insurance card. It's really not that big of a deal to go to the f fucking it's, court. It's not because... If you uh, if you just have proof that you had it, there's no ticket. Yeah, it just it gets annulled. You just fucking. Also, just have your insurance though. Like just yeah. like just, you know, it's not it's 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 I've forgot it before, but luckily I didn't get pulled over without it. But uh, and, but now you can. Have, there's apps for it now. Yeah, there's like an app for it. I actually have to. My, I might just get it because my car can get messy and I just don't know where it is. Yeah. And I'll just be like, you know what? completely get it officer i'll just uh i'll just go to court rutgers newark nancy canter yeah <laughs> oh, oh. bless you holy fuck yells i'm the chancellor at campus cops in car accident <laughs> can i talk to your person please yeah she's on her way right here Oh, I thought that Can was I good. talk to your person, please? Yeah, she's on her way right here. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, no, you don't understand. I understand. Plate. I'm just trying to do my job. That's it. This I have to just make a Rutgers police vehicle. I understand Percy. that. I understand that, but I, I can't just let it go. It's not like I can just let it go. I have to do what, what's what's for what 
see for yeah, my job as well. Damage. I understand that, but that's not up for that's not up for me. That's I have to m make sure my supervisor is aware of what's going on. I understand. Absolutely no damage. You I know that, anything. and I explained that to her, but she still wants to come. She still wants to come, and she wants to make sure that's our policy. That's the way. That's the way. If I miss possible. my airplane, you folks are in trouble. Okay. She's on are the you way. On or are you on the Excuse me. Hello. How are you? I'm not well. I'm being held from going to the airport. I missed my plane. Okay. You folks are in trouble. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the chancellor. I'm. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> who the I, fuck is a chan? What's a <laughs> chancellor? I would look at her in the face and be like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and I, why did she back her up with this with this absurdity? You fucking. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the chancellor. <laughs> the who? She's the chancellor, dude. That's a flex, bro. How are you? I'm not well. I'm being held from going to the airport. I missed my plane. Okay. You folks I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the chancellor. I'm okay. I I I don't know. That's the equivalent to like okay. I don't fucking know what I don't fucking know the fuck you are, lady. Oh, one more time. Okay. You folks. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the chancellor. I'm um, okay. I I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, can we can we yeah, get another car? Another car. She, 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 yeah, she, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Just give me five minutes. What's even happening right now? <laughs> she probably just bumped into the bumped into the car. They still have to write a police report. Right I actually was not. I was standing right here. Okay. Who's the she? Who's on their way? My sergeant. And my lieutenant. They're not going to be here. They're going to be here. They're on their way. They're driving. Sergeant away. LaFand and who's the LT? Yeah. Lieutenant uh, ja um, Jordan. Oh, They're on their lovely. way. I just have to make notifications. Wait, why do they need... Wait, now I'm like low-key on the, chan the chancellor side. No, because if you hit... you If you make any type of contact with a car, you, like, and the police are called or the police see it, they have to write a report. It no, I understand writing a report, but having like... The supervisor and shit come down? That doesn't make any sense. She might be a new cop. That's probably why they're they're having like Yeah, a... this cop is not handling this well, bro. They also did driving with a cop. Well, you could do that. Take a like... picture and let her go. She, she's on a university business. Would you do that to miss her the president of the United States? Yes. No, no you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. We have to do what we have to do. We no, have to do our wouldn't. job just like you have to do your job. No, you have it's to okay. be thoughtful okay. about doing your job. Okay. Well, okay. So not, not just, you know, following rote. Okay. Okay? I... I'm just gonna tell you one thing. I 100% agree with my partner here, so... Yes, we're just gonna stand by for the supervisors her. and... Okay. Just gotta do what we have to do. That's all you think. <laughs> It's okay for you to do this under other circumstances, but now it's not. So you have to. That's the thing about being thought. Listen, 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 that's I just need your license, your driver's, um, and the registration for the vehicle and the insurance. Florida license of the driver, and you can let them go, and we'll do a report. If we need anything, we can always call back. Have Receive. Dude, old ladies, like, love, like, drama. Yeah. They love, like, just, like, making, like, a big deal out of shit. Like, this would be done in literally over five, ten minutes if she was just, like, cooperating. She's just, like, they just love the drama because, you know, nothing happens in their lives. Oh, <laughs> she's a oh wait, yeah, she's a yeah, yeah. Do you have your driver's license with you? <laughs> what did he tell you? I wasn't driving. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is fucking pissed. Um, you have, you have to, she won't give me her passenger information. Can you just take a copy of this? Mm-hmm. The, um, they're not going to let me do the report. Okay. 
Because I was sitting in the vehicle. Um, do you want mine? Do you give me mine? What's that? My, uh, I was just, I was sitting in the car. I don't know if that's... 200, so all will leave with it. We finish that? That's affirmative. We're gathering the information. Information. I'll do yours later. All right. Yeah, we let the other vehicle go right now. I'm taking the picture now, and then they're going to be on their way. Appreciate it. He just got here. I don't care. He said he fully supports his partner. So he's part of the problem. Bro, there's like nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bump. It was a I kind of agree with the, with the chance, Chancellor, bro. When you Thank have you. somebody like this, you call and you say, what should we do? Should we follow normal protocol or should we do something else? That's what you should have done. Thank you. Thank have you a good night. See you later. They immediately crash. <laughs> <laughs> we start the whole thing. Activating body cam. Just Another police report. He's going to be um. I want to see the comments. Do a report on it. Follow up as necessary. I'm kind of curious. The comments. Rooting for her to miss the flight. Damn. <laughs> we don't go to the school. Chancellor means absolutely nothing. You know who you're dealing with in situations like this. The sense of entitlement. What do you do? This is the president of the United States. It's all you need to know about these women perceive themselves. <laughs> She's the chancellor. Explains why the university generation is all fucked up. Okay, all right, now this is this is a that. this is a little ridiculous. Now I'm the chancellor. Yeah, so is Adolf Hitler. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, why does that have 400 <laughs> likes? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, YouTube comments are the worst <laughs> things in the world. They really are. Would you do the? Okay. My entitlement is stick with this one. The sense of entitlement and privilege of these people is troubling. Dude. Dude, I like New Jersey. Dude, New Jersey police shit is like kind of fire. They, you, all NJ, like usually NJ cops are like pretty good. With what, um, I've never really had like a bad problem with a police officer in New Jersey. To be honest. Uh, I'm the sheriff. Who are you? That's fire. <laughs> Assemblywoman Maria Rodriguez traffic stop. What the fuck? Mel Melbourne cops are body slamming people. No chat. Like no, you see, don't even no, because yeah, then it just yeah. it doesn't matter what you say now. It doesn't matter. I've been down this road. You can't say shit like this. It's cool. Okay, guys, we get it. It's. I think he knows he's he's white. I think he knows he's white, bro. My God. Anyways. Like, like you were like. <laughs> like I didn't like. Like you're not even saying anything wrong. Savoli W W Chancellor of True Lease. <laughs> New York lawmaker has epic meltdown over speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just take your fucking ticket, Deserved. bro. You have to calm down. I have PTSD. The The reason why I pulled you over was because you were going 43 and a 30, which was 13 over, okay? I was going you at did... the same pace as every car. I couldn't go okay. slower. They honk. They okay, honk that's... at you. I have PTSD. I'm going to protest this in court, okay. and you're telling me that you singled me out. That's what you're telling me, right? And then everyone was going at the same pace, right?
I no, drive on that no. road at 30 miles an hour you, all the time. Are you going to listen to me? Or yes, you... I will listen to you, and you're not going to let me go, even though we got the legislator. And I always do everything right, and I follow the law, and I was at the same pace as every other car. Ma'am, you're gonna let me explain this to you here? You let me talk, okay? And then I'll give you a chance to talk, okay? You have to just tell me what you're what you're doing here with the ticket because I am late for a job meeting and I'm gonna i okay. this is my career. Sorry, I'm having a, a panic attack. I I okay. you need Uh, yo, I'm not making fun of her, but I'm not not making fun of her. Medical attention? <laughs> Would you like me to call you an ambulance? I've explained everything to you already. But I didn't understand. Okay, and that's I've, why I I've asked I've been here you, for about 30 minutes explaining but it to see, you. See, I've okay? already missed my job interview now, okay, and well, I'm asking you. I have other stuff that I need to do too. I know, but I'm a taxpayer also. in Ulster County. Okay, and I'm also a I've here, in Ulster and I've accommodated County, and you, no, and I've explained everything to you to the best of my ability. You didn't explain the previous one. Yes, I did, ma'am. I'm not going to argue with you any further. Whoever edited this is an asshole. Yeah, okay. like. Well, she she was going a lot here. Attention? She uh, she was on her way to an interview. Would you like me to call you an ambulance? She, said she was uh, over the ledge. Okay, if you want to sit down, I can explain this to you. Okay. You big. Jesus Christ put his life on the line for you, man. Put it down, brother. Two men. Put it down. One with a gun. It ain't worth it. Brought life to a halt at Seattle Center this afternoon. Get on the ground, get down the nut. Police say the man on the right, armed with a knife, had just stabbed a woman at the nearby Mod Pizza. She had a four year old with her. Investigators believe that suspect is the child's father. The man with one and this armed man on the left is keeping the suspect here until police can arrive. So he came out with the knife, uh, blood on his hands, and he was asking the person with the gun to shoot him, to kill him. Both clear the street! Backing away slowly with the gun pointed low. That standoff lasted minutes, slowly moving through a bustling Seattle center right at the base of the Space Needle. Uh, I was kind of scared because it was right directly behind me and I just kind of got out of the way. There was a lot of people, yeah. Eventually, the suspect is pepper sprayed. Take it, go, get the knife, grab the knife. But the standoff continues. Hey man, you gotta get home Investigators say the female victim is in critical condition and was taken to Harborview with multiple stab wounds. He said that she took away I'm his kids walking with, with um, and he has no reason to live. But she stabbed her in the neck. It looked pretty serious. I mean, it was just kind of crazy because that stuff doesn't usually happen in Seattle Center. Yeah, it was kind of scary, I guess. More scary for the people probably at my pizza. And when officers arrive, the man was tased and arrested. That bystander with a gun didn't fire a shot. Leaving many glad this armed walk through the park didn't end much worse. In Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News. W. Samaritan. Handled that pretty well, the Samaritan. Police officer ch saves a child from possible abduction. Tonight we have a new videotape which shows how a police officer with nerves. CJ Bomb? What? They've just been spamming that for like the past like. What the fuck is CJ Bomb? Who is CJ? Dude, if this is Chad. If, if this is what I think it is, um, and this is uh like about that dude who like makes troll videos. I'm actually gonna ban everyone. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. So if you keep saying it, you will get banned by me personally right now. 
<laughs> he owns you? All right, there's banner number one. <laughs> there's number one. Permid, uh, who else? of steel <laughs> saved a life. It happened in a Walmart. In a split second, a, sec a stranger seized a child. And ABC's Rob Nelson takes us through what police did. And we want you to know before you watch, some of this is very intense. A mother and her two young daughters shopping at an Oklahoma Walmart. Little did they know that man right there was about to strike. As the mother turns toward a grocery shelf, 37-year-old Sammy Wallace snatches the two-year-old girl from the sh Why would you do that? Just so dumb. Why would you do that? Shopping cart, holding a knife to the toddler. Here it is. Like, what is, like, what, like, what is the mindset? Like, what What's is the... Yo! Is again, the toddler now in the stranger's arms. 911, medical emergency. Hey, dude, uh, so we need fun. police at the Walmart. What's wrong? There's someone with a knife holding a little girl hostage. First, the mom confronts him, and another shopper blocks the suspect in with his shopping cart. Police arrive, beginning 34 minutes of a meticulous rescue operation. The hostage negotiator works to build a rapport with the suspect, who has a violent arrest record and a history of mental illness, but it doesn't work. Every time we felt like we could use some of the cues, in other words, talk to him about his family, his job, his interest, he would become erratic. The team moves in in a carefully choreographed formation, a police officer to either side of the suspect. It's called triangulation. That way we can try to get a good shot if we need to. Next, they offer him a chair, their goal to stop him from moving, a controlled target. Suddenly, the suspect starts counting down from 60 seconds. Police fear they are out of time. His eyes got really wide. He moved a knife from her stomach area up underneath her throat. The police act. Watch the one officer crouch down as the second officer, just out of sight, begins to speak, distracting the suspect, who turns his head to the left just for a second, but it's the opening Captain David Huff needed, moving forward, shooting the suspect at point-blank range, pulling the toddler to safety. Cap Yo! Oh my God! The Huff's actions were extremely heroic, and he waited to the very last moment. Quick thinking by police, saving a lucky little girl who tonight is back with her very grateful mother. Bro, did he die, Chad? He shot him in the head. That's dude. That's Dude, smart he, thinking. He, though, instantly, like all that. he instantly stood up. Boom. That's like smart. Like that, that whole plan from like the, the start to finish was like. I really hope well that that girl is so young that she'll she'll never remember that. But she might if she if she's not like really, really young, she might get scarred for life from that shit. Yeah. Uh, number one, the gunshot right next to her ear. That might that, fuck her up. Yeah. Number two. A dude's fucking head exploding on her? Hopefully she didn't look... Yeah, I think she probably did see it. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my God, that's horrible, bro. Let's go. Let me see where he strikes. Extremely heroic, and he waited to the very last moment. Left just for a second, but it's the opening Captain David Huff needed. Moving forward, shooting the suspect at point-blank range, pulling the top... Oh, yeah. Like, literally, it's over for that guy. ...to safety. Captain Huff's Damn. BC News, New York. Dove, like, good plan, though, bro. Like, instead of, like, just trying to rush in and, like, just, um, causing some crazy shit to happen. Now to a story. Dude. A soldier escapes from North Korea to South Korea. Oh, you've never seen this video? No. Oh, that video is, that video is kind of crazy. They were shooting at him. Yeah, that video is, that video is kind of crazy. Which one? This one? The, um, no, that one. The second one? Yeah. A heroin escape from North Korea. A young soldier risking his life driving across the no man's land of the DMZ, crashing his Jeep and making a run for it. You can see him there just yards from the border as his fellow soldiers were firing on him. 
ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz with the dramatic video of his escape. It happened near these iconic buildings straddling the border, the only place where soldiers from the north and south come Super face low. to Super thank face. you for the 67 Those months, from the bro. North, just yards from freedom, a quest that nearly ended in death for this soldier. Behind the wheel of a military jeep, the 24-year-old barrels towards the south, his fellow North Korean soldiers in hot pursuit. There's landmines, there are multiple sets of fences, electrified fences, so it's not easy to get across. The jeep crashes into a ditch, the border so close, he breaks into a run as North Korean guards open fire. Dozens of rounds aimed at the defector, five or six ripping into him as he crosses the dividing line. Critically wounded, these infrared images show what happens next. South Korean soldiers stay low, avoiding fire, crawling towards the defector. That is him lying still. They carry him out, away from the danger, and off to a nearby medical center. The defector is expected to survive, but he not only has those bullet wounds from which to recover, but he had parasites throughout his body, likely from food and water that were contaminated, which gives you a real window into what life is like for those soldiers and North Korean citizens. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, what the hell even is North Korea, bro? It's fucked over there, dude. Gas station clerk helps alleged kidnapping. Story which could have had a much different ending if not for a very alert gas station clerk. The quick thinking hero stopping an alleged kidnapping. And ABC's TJ Holmes is here with that story. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning to you. You know, sometimes you get that gut feeling that yeah. something's just not right. Well, this guy acted mm -hmm. on that instinct. But instead of calling police, he actually put himself in front of an alleged armed kidnapper and said, she's not going anywhere else with you. At first glance, you might not realize anything's wrong here, but this is an alleged crime in progress. Police say the man in this surveillance video carjacked this woman early Wednesday morning, claiming to have a weapon. He forced her to withdraw money from ATMs around town. Watch as they pull into this gas station and walk into the convenience store. The suspect gives a friendly wave to the clerk before they go to the ATM. Unable to withdraw cash, they head to the counter where the suspect uses the woman's credit card to buy cigarettes. But watch what happens next. The clerk, Manveer Comer, sensing something was wrong, comes from behind the counter and stops the woman at the door, physically putting himself between her and the suspect and tells her not to leave. You come by back, but I help you, no problem. The clerk confronts the suspect, who you see reaches to his jacket as if he has a weapon. Oh, the suspect mass. then flees in the woman's car. Back inside, the clerk gives the woman a bottle of water. She's shaken but unharmed, thanks in part to the clerk playing his hunch. And it was the a hunch. And they man. caught up w. with the suspect a short time later because, guys, he had stolen the woman's phone. Quick he turned game. it on. Of course, they could track that thing, no problem. But again, he didn't ask questions. He didn't say, are you okay? Is everything all right? What's going on here? He just acted on his hunch he, he really and said, how don't leave. And courageous was he and kind? I mean, that's just an yeah, incredible. Yeah, hunch or not, incredible courage. Yes. yes. Thank you. And she's okay, unharmed. God. Thank goodness. Thank you, TJ. Honestly, saved a life. Think about how many uh, uh, fucking no. JCSs there have been with the girl doesn't, no one helps the girl. And she's fucking done. Police take wrong way driver crash on purpose to protect others. What the fuck? Pretty often it's the middle of the night, it's bar closing time, the drunks are out, not a lot of people are driving. That's when the calls are coming in for the wrong way drivers. My right ear. Oh. Information you have most of the time is that they're drunk, they're asleep at the wheel. You do have a possibility of stopping them, so you take the best route you have with the options you have. Take as many lanes as you can. Watch yourself, watch yourself. We are going to set up like this. He's coming right at us right now. All right, we got him coming at us, dispatch. We decided to take the center lane and keep our push bumper facing him. And you just see the headlights coming. And they were coming fast, you know, 80 miles an hour. It's on you like that. I think on the unedited video, there's some choice words. Yeah. 
Watch yourself. You all right? Yep. I credit Sergeant DeBoer with really oh. saving me because it was preventing a head-on collision. He turned into the impact and gave it a glancing blow that ripped one of the wheels off the truck that struck us and continued for two miles further um, south in the northbound lane before the vehicle was completely disabled and stopped by other officers. You just know that that's what you're, what's coming. You really don't have any other choice. I mean, you could, you could pull off and let them hit a citizen, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not why we're here. So this, the goal is that he wakes up if he's asleep or he sees the headlights or, and stops the car. So we can put ourselves there, but it's up to him to not hit us. Yeah. And they, they stayed in the car, which is... Like, they could have died. Though, it's geez. so fucked up that some bad cops ruin the name of every cop. 100%. To, oh, to yeah. some people. Like, these dudes are literally just, like, sacrificing their life. And then, like, some fucking racist, some weirdos just literally... There'll be, like, millions of people just think, like, oh, every cop just wants to kill me and is, you know... It's literally, like... So, like, that guy literally could have just died. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah, easily. just, like, he easily just... Uh, like five minutes he gets a call he's like yeah we gotta do this all right i guess i could die right now like uh, that just gave me ptsd from when i was in a car accident oh my god what the fuck happened i was in a fucking my boy was driving and he um he it was just raining outside like not even like 30 minutes but prior to what happened so he's speeding and he's like he just like, felt like he it felt like he was like god or some shit and then he, there was like this hard ass left turn. No. And he went, just tried fucking swerving that shit at like 70, 80 miles an hour. And we rolled into a turf sign. And my, mind you, oh, he was sober, Chad. We were all, everyone was sober. So like, like, it was literally like 2, 2 p.m. in like the fucking day on a Sunday. And fucking, um, I was in like the, de I was like in like the, uh, the passenger seat. Yeah. Which is like, you could easily fucking die right there. And I fucking saw my life shine before my eyes. Like, that shit's real. I literally was going to cover my head like this. And as I was doing it, everything slowed down. And I saw my entire life. Memories I didn't even think existed pop up in my head. What? Like, literally, like... Like now I'm like rem I'm like like remembering back like I remember these weird ass memories of like when I was like a baby like oh my when God. that happened like because like my life was just shining before my eyes was the crash bad oh we told it was car but we came out all my boys came out on escape it's like me and two my two of my friends and but the thing is though there was a tree like like a couple yards away from it yeah and you can't roll over a tree so if we hit that tree we would have died. Dude, when I was driving back, I don't know if you remember this, uh, but when Corona was about to hit, I told Raph we have to flee. So we were like in LA and I was like, we have to leave. Yeah. And everyone called me dumb for this at the time, but it wound up being smart. But I was like, we got to go to Jersey. So we fucking drove to New Jersey. And on like the second or third day, um, Raph took over. And it, we, he was driving at night and we're in the left lane and this like big, like 16 wheeler, um, is like on the lane next to us. And he's like merging in uh -huh. and he just had the blinker on and Raph's driving. And then without even like caring that we were like next to the, you know, when you're driving next to a big ass truck, you're like, damn, like, I hope this car, the truck doesn't go like yeah, this. Yeah, no, yeah. That's like the biggest fear. But like, he literally did that. Oh my. And Raph couldn't go anywhere. So the guy ran Raf off the road and I'm like kind of asleep. And I'm like, what the fuck? The car is like now sideways driving on like the, uh, like the medium, like the middle part yeah. of the highway. Oh my God, bro. The car and it's pouring rain, pouring rain. I'm like, holy fuck. Like it's, 
and I my but the thing is my life didn't flash before my eyes. Uh. I was just like, oh fuck! Like I was just like, this is how I'm gonna die. Like this literally sucks. <laughs> so, raps like I can't break, I can't break, I can't break. Yeah, you the can't break. The car is sideways. So like one of like the two tires on this side are just gonna stop. They're the not. They're not go. touching anything. Yeah, they're just gonna keep going. So he's going and he turns. And he turns the car, and we're going through, and the grass is so wet from the fucking uh, rain, and it's, yeah. like, muddy, that the car turns, and it's, like, instead of, like, spinning or flipping, it just, like, slows down, slows down, just stops. Just because of the mud. Like, the mud, like, the car was stuck. Oh, like, the traction of the mud and shit? Dude, yeah. the car was stuck in the mud. We couldn't back it up. It was, like, full-blown, like, three inches of mud. Or me maybe probably more. I don't know. Five inches. Damn. Um but dude, Raf couldn't turn. He couldn't hit the brakes, nothing. It was just like, alright, fuck it. Like we're just gonna I guess we're just gonna die now. So low key, good thing that it rained. Oh yeah, if it, did, if it didn't rain, then Raf could have never stopped the car. Yeah. That's we were we scary. were in Illinois. Bro, that is fucking We were scary, in Illinois. Dude. We were in Illinois. Um and uh yeah, and like, dude, people were saying WAF saved. He, dude, he he even said he didn't do anything. He stayed there. The wheel wasn't working. He couldn't hit the brakes. It was literally the mud that like slowed down the car, bro. Wood, wood. So <laughs> listen, dude. I, I, I God or angels or some shit was looking out, bro. Yeah, bro, you got like. And that's why I just never, I hate driving your trucks. If I'm near a truck, I will always, like, speed up and go right past it. I don't never want to be on its blinds, like, its blinds. And, dude, Cause... the thing is, he had to have seen afterwards, he goes in the lane and then sees a car in the middle. Yeah. Like, and, bro, you know how, like, some middle sections will be, like, all metal bars? Yeah. There were no metal bars there, but, like, a half mile up the road was all metal bar. So if we were a half mile like up the road chat, we might we might have died. Because we would have hit metal bars, the car could have flipped, or the bars could have came through the car yeah, and hit us. You would have went like right through it and split the car. Bro. Yeah, nah, dude. We didn't hit anything, dude. It's scary how easily you can like die from a car. Like and oh. everyone drives cars. Like if you really think about it. We've shown we've shown good cops, bad cops. Let's see a bad cop. What's going on? Body cam footage, Iowa cop allegedly racially profiled driver. Hey guys. Okay. What's up? Is this your car? Well, it's a rental right now. My car. Okay. Did, you, did something break down? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you guys just came from over the park, right? Yeah, we're just hanging out. That's it. Is this your car? I just told you my car was in the shop. I was this is a rental. Okay. How do you start it? What do you mean? I just put my foot on the brake and I put it in drive and I Okay. Who so it's your car though? Did they give you a it's fob not or something? My car, officer. Did my they car give you a key fob or something or? Yes sir. Officer. Like what does it do? Does it You see this this lets this that should let you know that it's in Okay. Do you have any weapons on you or in the car? No. Okay, can I be honest with you? It smells like marijuana in the car and I can see shake on the ground. And your buddy's giving me the your buddy's giving me the idea that maybe he's got a gun. You know what I mean? Like that's what I think. Ow. I don't know. Just the, the way I mean just the way you're holding yourself, man. What? Like your buddy's making me think he has a gun. That actually pisses me off. That like, is... That, I'm actually, like, pissed. There's no way this... There's no way that... I don't understand these these cops that do this shit on camera. Like, you're literally being recorded. Oh, my God, bro. The guy literally is like, how? Like, listen That's to the disgusting. guy. disgusting. ...with you. It smells like marijuana in the car, and I can see shake on the ground. Hey, you know and... what a cop tried to do, actually, one time? And I was in a car, and, um... Two of my friends were black. They were in the car with me. And we're waiting outside. Um, because I'm picking up this girl. Um, and uh she was like getting done, like babysitting. And a cop comes up, 
because a neighbor called the police that we were just parked outside, like on mm -hmm. a residential street. Cop comes up, two cops, one on my side, one on the other side. And this has never happened to me before when I'm just like alone, right? Or yeah. like with someone who's who's white. But uh, yeah, we're in like a white neighborhood. Two of my friends are black. The cop goes, uh, I'm going I'm to need you guys to step out of the car. So we both had to give di like stories that matched up of why we were there. And when I got out the car, he go he goes over to the car and starts shining a flashlight in the ground. He's like, what is that on the ground? What is that? He's like, he's like, what is that? What is that? I'm like, I don't know. What, like, what are you talking about? He's like, that's weed on the ground. And I looked and I was like, that's like a crushed leaf. <laughs> It was a leaf <laughs> that someone just stepped on. And it was like in like a bunch of pieces. I'm like, dude, are you? What the fuck? And he's like, oh, is he going to have the same story? I'm like, why would he know about a leaf? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> bro, dude. Like, That's it, dude. It, That's I, what so fuck. Bro, there's literally just old. Weird ass fuck. There's just old, like, racist dudes. Like, they're just old racist guys. And this was like... Fucking eight years ago. So I don't even know how old the guy would be now. But yeah, that was, I'll never forget that. Cause the guy literally tried to like catch us. And like, he, I don't even think he believed it to be honest. It's disgusting. Your buddy's giving me the, your buddy's giving me the idea that maybe he's got a gun. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think. Ow. I don't know. Just the, the way, I mean, just the way you're holding yourself, man. Like, that's why I'm, that's why we're nervous, man. That's it. You don't get no weapons there. on you? Go ahead and step out, Montre. Yep, I just told you why. Three times. You want me to recap again? Yep, your hands are up, and now I'm asking you to step out of the car. I gave you my ID. You gave me your ID. Go run it. Yep. I don't want to. I'm not walking away from this car. If you don't want to go to jail, I would. I would. I would expect you to please listen. I mean, I. I told you I'm a cop. Face the car when you step out. Face the car when you step out. Face the car when you step out. Don't flex. Don't flex. I don't know what you're doing, man, but you need to knock that off. Stop pulling on your arms. No, Is no, there no. marijuana shake on the floor of the car? Wait. Oh, sorry, I'm yeah. sick of your ass, okay? Like, what the fuck, dude? Chat. What? Ban that guy. This? No, right there. Oh my god. That's actually a perma ban. There's no. You didn't find no marijuana. I did. I'm not charging you with marijuana. I, but here's here's what. If, if you want me to, if you want me to be real with you, like I want you to be real with me for a second. Like, did I make that up? You know what I mean? Did I? Did I just? Did I make it up? I believe so, officer. Do you have any questions? The officers involved are facing investigation for their behavior. What? And watch that, like, not have been an actual investigation. And it was just, it was just saying, it was so fucked, dude. I'm not. <sighs> I like the suggested videos after these. Oh my god. A newer cop sh fatally shot? What the fuck? Chad, Newark is in New Jersey. Everything. Turn off the vehicle. Turn off the vehicle. Turn it off. Huh? Turn off the car. What? Turn off the car. What? Sir, turn off the vehicle. Turn off the vehicle, sir. Turn it off. Uh, Turn off the car and roll down the window. Open the door. Get me that other unit. Open the window. Open the door. What's up? I got a six four six. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Hands. Hands on the wheel. Let me see your hands. Dude, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I can't watch this, bro. This is freaking me nah, out. Nah, I'm like, I'm like getting scared watching this. I don't think it's.
Camillo, how could the, this cop be pissing you off? What? The, the guy <laughs> wouldn't shut his car off and then rolled his window up. With tenses. What? What? Also, someone just what said- What do you mean, what do you mean? So someone just said, I'm dumb as fuck. I'm literally just sitting here. <laughs> just watching the fucking video. Dude, now people are just like adding Camilla, <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty dumb, like, dude, what? Are, are you done with the last video? Like, I, are, is your internet delayed as fuck? I, 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 I hope he's fucking delayed. What the guy do? Bruh! <laughs> If a cop's like, Good turn your engine on, bro, am I, am I tripping nah. right now? She said, put the hands up, put your hands up. And Before literally... she even said, put your hands up, she was like, just turn the car off. Yeah, just stared at her. And then put the window <laughs> up in a tainted car. <laughs> no, Camilo, are you good? <laughs> Camilo's bad. <laughs> Dude, what? No, seriously, answer yourself. Literally answer this. <laughs> Play it. I'm actually, I no, do it. We, we gotta keep it going. Though. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure that yeah. there's no, like, there's not an actual shooting on camera. Wait, wait. Oh my. Yo, you saw what he did? No, wait, what? I didn't see that a lot. Oh. All right, that's not to us. Mm. Turn off the vehicle. Turn off the vehicle. Turn it off. Huh? Turn off the car. What? Turn off the car. What? Sir, turn off the vehicle. Turn off the vehicle, sir. Turn it off. Turn off the car and roll down the window. Open the door. Get me that other unit. Open the window. Open the door. What's up? I got a 646. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Hands. Hands on the wheel. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Hands on the wheel. The car's off. Oh. Be advised, the vehicle took off. Why are people saying fuck this bitch? Bro. Dude. Cat, there's just no way you're saying that, bro. He literally just drove off. Wait. Bro. Guys. She literally said, shut the car off. He didn't shut the car off. He rolled the window up, wouldn't show the hands. What is she supposed to do? It's two against one. One of them's not even showing his hands. What do you mean you're white? What is so Like, dude, nah. No, see, nah, no, they're nah, like just, baiting. They're, they're baiting. Yeah, they're, yeah. Why do you they're want baiting. chat? Like, why do you normal. want to bait shit? Why do you want that for and for us? Like, why do you want that, bro? Like, what even just <laughs> Bro, I can't I this actually makes me mad, bro. This actually makes me fucking mad, bro. Like, dude, it like the cop has to feel like safe where what she's doing too, right? So when he just rolls up his window with a tinted windows, like not turning off the car still, I, I would put, I would be pretty uh I would be pretty scared. I'd I'm be fucking scared, bro. Also, we're sitting here, we're showing all types of cops. We're we're literally seeing all types of cops. So you're sitting here acting like some like dude, come on, bro. They're just bad. <laughs>
Oh, albaters. Thomas in Pennsylvania. Twenty seventeen. I mean, Chrysler three hundred color black. Zulu twenty one hotel. I mean, kilo. Somebody, people are like, dude, why are they shooting? The title of the video says, cop fatally shooting. Dude, dude hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let me rewind this. I need to see something. Wait, this says cop fatally shooting driver. Oh. Oh. Wait. I thought I thought the whole time we we're uh, cops yeah no I shot. thought yeah because the the, the title I read the title wrong. Duh. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, Camilla. No, 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 no. Stop, <laughs> Camilla. He was nah. waiting to type that, bro. Nah. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> no, nah, Camilla. Camilla, what you said, like. Dude. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now I'm thinking about this way differently. Because if a cop didn't get killed, this is actually fuck. I thought I thought one of them killed a cop. This whole video. That doesn't change the fact it was still suspect that he rolled the window up and didn't turn the car off. No, yeah, he was still being sus. All, and then drove off. He was being case. sus, but... She pulled a gun out. Yeah. Unless it, the call was like some shit like they know these guys are armed or something. Why is she pulling a gun out? I mean, she must have literally just been like scared. Like, that's it. Yeah. Like, she just got scared, bro. Which you can't, bro. You literally like. Just think if it was you. You're there. They're not. They're not listening at all. They're rolling the window up. Like that's fucked up, bro. Like in a tinted car. Who knows what could happen, bro? Somebody said that it, read about it. He reached for a gun in his shirt. Oh, well, that hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you are fucking wild. No, It should be under his leg. Does anybody fires a weapon here? No, no, no here, not here. Delta 91, go. I think you're going to start opening cars for the bus to get filled. I get it. That's what that's what 91. You want to stop moving the vehicle for the bus to get filled. Cap. When the same yeah, shots who's fired, 599. Who's 599. Who shot? You're 599. Who shot? Did you shoot? No, I didn't shoot. Who shot? Who shot? Crespo. Crespo shot. Crespo. Crespo shot. <gasps> no, we should. They shot. Crespo shot, and they're they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Who's dead? Okay.
No, no, he just pulled off on me. Listen, the best part is no officers are hurt. Right, no yeah. No officers shot. Right. Yeah, that's all that matters. Bro. All right. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's... That's literally fucked up. That's not all that matters. <laughs> I think he's trying to make her feel better, but... Yeah, Christ was okay, and and so Absolutely. is and so is Ortiz. <sighs> Pennsylvania and Thomas. Pennsylvania and Thomas is where I pulled them over. No. Was that a motor vehicle stop? Or yes. Was that a foot chase? No motor vehicle stop. I pulled them over. Okay, right, who you with? By myself. Okay. I'm right here. Um, going, going south, the I'm cars going, Go. going, going down west. Pennsylvania. It was going way too fast. So I did was, you have, you, you, you pulled it over as a 521? Pulled or you it had... over as a traffic stop. Okay. Just as a traffic stop. Just because he was going too fast. Okay. I got behind him on Pennsylvania and Thomas at the red light. I was waiting for the light to turn green. I thought he was going to pull over right on Pennsylvania. He kept going down Thomas right on that little curb on Thomas. Pulled over right in front of the church. I got out, told him to turn off the car. Okay. He keeps telling me, why? Why do I need to turn off the car? So I'm like, turn off the car, turn off the car. Finally, he acts like he turns off the car. Rolls up his window on me. So I start knocking on the window. He rolls the window down again. I see him fumbling with like the, to change the gears. So I thought he's going to drive off. And when I see him fumbling with the gears, the gun's tucked under his leg. So I see the handle. So I go over 646, I got a man with a gun. The, the <laughs> Delta unit puts up Moss and his partner. So I tell him he's got a gun, so they're like, Val, open, get him out. I go to open the door, the door doesn't open, so I go in to open it from the inside, and he takes off. Okay, you all right? Yeah. Okay, all right. You and they, the, who picked up on the car first, the 599 unit, or you pursued him first? No, um, the Delta unit took off for it first. And then I saw them going all the way up <coughs> Bergen. I was like far, far, far behind. Okay. Then I heard Bergen and Peshine, Clinton and Peshine. And I saw people start running on, off of Bergen. So I turned and nothing. And then they said something on uh, Bergen Avenue. They were going on Bergen Avenue. So I kept going. I heard they would said shots fired by police. And then I see all the units are still following the car, going into the first. Then they turned where the Applebee's was on Springfield, and then we came back around onto ITB and we ended up here. Okay, all right. By the time I was here, it was like five, six units here. Where's your car? 503. I was driving 503. All right. <laughs> so he had a gun. So she saw a gun. Um, and anyone who's in the chat who's like saying they would have done shit different, or whatever. All I'm going to say is like, bro, it's a shame that anybody fucking got hurt here, but you can't say how you would have reacted, bro. When you fucking are standing there, there's two people and one of them has a gun, like, also not listening, like, to the cops, like, not shutting the car off, not putting the window down, like, you can't, there's no way you can be like, no, no, this is, I, I would, I wouldn't, bro, please stop that shit, bro.